Hey everyone, it's me, Matt. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing great. So in today's video, I'm doing part two of my backyard renovation. Hopefully you caught part one in last week's video where I completely prepped and cleared the space. I buried a rhizome root barrier along the fence and planted 10 ladyfinger palms. If you haven't already watched that video, make sure to check it out. I'll be sure to link it in the video description for reference. So in this video, I'm gonna continue to plant up the area. I bought a ton of shade loving plants that I can't wait to get in the ground. So let's get into it. So before I review all my beautiful shade loving plants, here's a quick overview of the area I'm renovating. As I mentioned, I completely cleared and prepped this space in last week's video. I installed a rhizome root barrier along my fence line and planted some ladyfinger palms that'll eventually grow into a living privacy screen. You can see I uncovered my in-ground brick fire pit and I left these red Hawaiian tea plants and liriope grasses. I also left this mammoth elephant ear. Other than that, it's really a blank space ready for some new plants. So this area is shaded by this tree canopy. We're in the southeast corner of my backyard. This area is pretty much protected from direct sun exposure and only really gets dappled sunlight throughout the day. It's perfect for shade loving plants. With that said, check out my plant haul. I picked up some really cool plants at some local garden centers here in Central Florida. I went to Lucas Nursery in Oviedo and Appenberries in College Park. I'm not sure how many of you are watching from the Central Florida area. If you live around here, make sure to check out those two nurseries. They're great and their staff is amazing. Starting off with my begonias, I picked up three different begonia varieties. Looking at these ones first, they probably look really familiar to most of you. These are white wax begonias. These plants will grow 10 to 12 inches tall and wide. They can be grown in sun or shade. They're hardy in USDA zones 8 through 11, and they prefer consistent soil moisture. Next, I've got these big double up white begonias by Proven Winners. They're also a type of wax begonia, but you can see they've got these large double blooms. They look like small roses. These plants will bloom in sun or shade. They'll grow 8 to 18 inches tall and 8 to 14 inches wide. They're heat tolerant and they can handle some drought, but do best with consistent soil moisture. And they're hardy in USDA zones 10 and 11. My last begonia variety are these white angel wing begonias. They've got these large waxy leaves and these long dainty flower blooms. These begonias will mound 18 to 24 inches tall and about 12 to 24 inches wide. They prefer part shade or bright indirect light. They're hardy in USDA zones 10 and 11, and they like moist, well-draining soil. Moving along, I also picked up some sun hostas. You can see they've got this beautiful green and white leaf variegation. They can take sun or shade and do really well in hot, humid weather. This plant prefers regular water, but is also drought tolerant. They'll grow to be about 12 to 16 inches tall and 12 to 18 inches wide. They also bloom white flowers on tall scapes from the center of the plants from late spring through fall, and they're hardy in USDA zones 4 through 10. Next up, I picked up a bunch of these caladium plants. I absolutely love their leaf color. The green and white with pops of pink and red is stunning. These are tropical perennials and they grow best in filtered sunlight and shade. They like regular moisture during the growing season, but almost nothing during their garment stage from autumn to spring. They'll grow 18 to 24 inches tall and 12 to 18 inches wide, and they're hardy in USDA zones 8 through 12. Lastly, I picked up some liriope. I'm gonna try to propagate some Hawaiian tea plants to replace the third one that died near my fire pit, and I wanted some more liriope to plant at the base of the tea plant propagations. The liriope plants will grow to be 10 to 18 inches tall and spread to be 12 to 18 inches wide. They can be planted in sun or shade. Liriope is drought tolerant, but can be grown in both dry and moist areas. They're hardy in USDA zones four through 10 and bloom beautiful six to eight inch blue flower spikes from August through September. Again, looking at all these plants together, you can see I'm going for a sort of moon garden theme with all these white blooming flowers. It should look really nice once everything's in the ground. So now the fun part begins, it's planting time. I've got my shovels and my slow release fertilizer. I also picked up some compost and manure to amend the soil with since it's so sandy in this area of my yard. So enough said, let's get everything planted in the ground.
all done. Everything is planted and watered in. All these plants look so great, settled into their new homes. They all look so beautiful. I really like how this turned out. I love this color combination and I can't wait for all these plants to mature and really fill in these spaces. I also went ahead and propagated some Hawaiian tea plants from cuttings from other plants in my yard. I dipped the ends in rooting powder that I'll link in the description of this video and then I stuck them directly in the ground. I added a few more cuttings around the other two tea plants to the left. I'm hoping all of these propagations root in. It should work, and if it doesn't, I'll buy some replacements from the garden center and swap them out. Overall, this area really is coming together quite nicely. So all I have left to do is install drip irrigation and mulch the entire space. I also ordered four white Adirondack chairs for the fire pit area, so I'll get those put together and set out here. Make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons so you can follow along with the rest of this transformation. So anyways, it's been another great day in the garden. Lots of hard work. I'm all sweaty. I need to go inside and take a shower. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.